Hey, Gemini, welcome to your forecast. Okay, this is going out for the next 30 to 45 days. Whenever you come to this, it's timeless. So if it resonates for you at that time, that's when it was meant for you. I'm going to do this in three sectors where we look at, you could look at it as like 10, 10, 10, or 15, 15, 15 days, right? But just take what resonates for you, leave the rest behind. <laughs> if you are new, <laughs> Oliver has come to lay at your feet tell you that they love you. Okay, he is a kibby, we've decided. He uh, was howling with the kittens this morning, so he is a kibby. But know that um, I am an intuitive, so much of what you see here on the channel will not be traditional. Okay, just take what resonates for you and leave the rest behind. If I pull up a King of Swords and I see something different in the cards, but you see it more traditional, then that's probably what it meant for you. Okay, um, roles can be reversed, swap them as needed. For those of you returning, thank you. I appreciate you. You're getting one of the first forecasts because of your contributions to the channel. So don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe. It is free. It's a beautiful gift to the channel. It helps others find the messages and it lets spirit know that, right, they're doing a good job here, right? The spirit's like, oh yeah, we're getting that message out. And that is what I am here for. Okay. Um, if you would like to connect with me, all of those links are down below. You can find me for readings below, the decks that I've created below, donations, um, the other shamanic practices that I do. Everything is below or you can find me at mindsetunicorn.me. Okay. So Gemini. Okay. There's an honoring of the past, I feel like, as you're letting go. Okay, because we've got the Day of the Dead with the Sacral Chakra, right? Like it's I'm letting my past go. This could be old past wounds, okay? But I am moving on a new journey, okay? And there we've got the creativity, which to me is very much Three of Cups, right? You are letting the moon illuminate your heart, illuminate your feelings and show you what it is here that you want. Okay. And this is a collective message. So if you are cross watching, know that at the beginning of every reading, I do that collective message. And if that resonates for you, then it is yours. Okay. So let's see what's going on here for Gemini. Okay. Thank you. Okay. So underlying this is the thin, thin veil. Okay, let go and let glow. You're seeing a lot right now. Okay, very intuitive. Uh, you're seeing more of your path than most are right now. And just believe in it. Believe what you are seeing. Okay, so the beginning of this, you're in great company. I feel like you are coming into an emotional union here, okay? Um, but you might have to pull away from it just for a minute, okay, in order to propel yourself forward. And for some of you, this could be I'm getting a tearful goodbye, Okay, and somebody's trying to cling to you as you're trying to clear out that old emotional energy. Okay, here in the second sector, we've got a judgment. Okay, what would your higher self do? Okay, again, I feel like you know this portal's open. You know it's time to move through. Okay, but you're realizing, right, you're having a human experience. And there's a little bit of fear about taking that next step. This could be about job. It does not have to be about love. Okay. It can be about anything. This third sector here, we've got the full moon just coming up over the horizon in the castle of dreams. Okay. Become altered by the color of your dreams. Okay, your dreams are coloring this portal energy. 
but it is a passion of going towards where you are meant to be. Happiness, the North Star, okay? Your soul purpose. So you're experiencing a big, big step forward, okay? So let's go ahead and take a look here. I'm going to start it out here with my Divine Masculine deck. I've got the Divine Feminine and the Inner Child on the way. I just completed them. I still have to write the books, so they're still not for sale yet, but I do love this deck. Okay, great company. Okay, yeah, okay. The Hermit, the Traveler. You are moving through the portal, okay? Moving towards what you have really thought about, okay? It's not like you haven't thought about this. You've really thought about this. Yeah, you've stood at the crossroads here for a while, okay? Um, but I feel like you're really moving towards, okay? Queen of Cups, okay? We've got the Two of Wands, the Queen of Cups there. Tell me about the Traveler. Okay, Queen of Pentacles, right? Um, either somebody's watching you go here with the sunset or somebody's waiting for you to arrive with the sunrise. Okay, tell me more about this crossroads. Yeah. Okay, you've been working towards something on your own. Somebody else has been working towards stuff on their own. I feel like healing yourselves so that you are solid and ready. And now it's time you're ready to take the action to put heart together into this. Okay. The beloved. Yeah, this is a very divine connection. Be patient with it, though. Um, there's a little entanglement here, but it seems like you and this person have kept coming back around to each other, uh, balancing each other out. So just be aware, right, that um, don't let your mind get into it and create another cycle. So tell me about why you're holding back a little bit here. What would your higher self do? Okay, Empress. It could be that you are uncertain that this path, okay, is going to turn out well for you. Could be that there's an age difference or you're leaving behind, right, the parents of your child and going for someone that it seems like it's impulsive, okay? Um, Knight of Wands. This person maybe hasn't even told you yet their true feelings. Or you told them your true feelings and you're a little uncertain, you're a little fearful that what you feel is not what you feel. But going through this portal will be renewal. Okay, it really will bring you exactly what you need. Okay, and there's growth. There's that seven of pentacles, right? Abundance, blessings. Because you're following this path, okay? Tell me about the Empress. Okay, there's the Knight of Cups. Okay, this is an electric connection. Okay, uh, very passionate, really sets you off. That's why I feel like we've got that Knight of Wands here, right? Very much somebody that can see things. Okay, and there was a trying to control it here with the Archer. It really, that's part of that Knight of Wands sort of energy of trying to control it. Um, you can't, in, you can't control electricity, right? Okay, the renewal here, Three of Wands, right? You're going to have a new start here, and it's going to be very fulfilling, right? Again, we've got those entwined, okay, that balance, um, you're like, here I come, okay? And the growth here, okay, it's going to take a minute. We've got the tower here with the mirror, right? Um, things have to break before they can come together. And um, I feel like 
you have both been really trying to see the future very much that's what that traveler that hermit energy coming in here with the hangman right that's what's been keeping this kind of slow growth is that nobody really wanted to move forward because they were scared right but there you are at the bottom right you've looked at your emotions long enough to know that you are ready to take that next step okay in the castle of your dreams okay yeah this the moon is illuminating this new possibility this new start okay the new path going forward for you and it's happiness and it's joy and it's sunshine right it's that north star thank you yeah it's ten of cups okay what's been missing your heart found and is ready for yeah okay <laughs> we've got energy of the sun here three times okay and along with again the three of cups the celebration gemini you're walking towards your happiness and dare i say that this is like a marriage made right so if this is about career path entrepreneurship it's exactly what you are seeking. Some of you may be starting a like planning business, okay? Um, but I feel like for others of you, like this person that you're walking towards, whether you know them or not, right? I feel like you're going to marry this person, okay? So let's see here. Tell me about the door opening to happiness. Okay, Knight of Pentacles. It took a long time to get there. Okay, you may have kicked and screamed and been like, no, I'm wild. I don't want to settle down. I don't want the desk job. I don't want love. No, right? But Ten of Cups here. Okay, again, Page of Stones, the links. You're ready to take a risk. Okay, you're ready to take a um a start at something that just feels like it's right for you okay the celebration okay yeah all right i feel like um you may have been afraid of being rejected you may have been afraid of um finding out that this wasn't what you wanted. You may have acted bored, okay, coy, or they did. But it was really frustration, okay, five arrows, and you're seeing that a lot of this was self-sabotage now. Okay, again, roles can be reversed. So this joy, this happiness, yeah, you're like, I have manifested the Shaman Ace of Cups. I have manifested such a big self-love of myself then I'm ready for this, okay? I'm ready for joy and happiness. And again, the Three of Cups on the bottom. So that's three times we've got the Three of Cups here. And on the bottom over here, we've got, there's the Fool and the Leap of Faith. Okay, I do feel like whatever this is, you are solidly heading towards it. Okay, and much celebration energy underlying it. So what else does spirit want to tell you about this path? Okay, yeah, you're ending something and birthing something new, but it is destined. It is divine. It is part of your life plan, okay? It's what you laid out for yourself. Ace of Wands, right? Rising from an ending, rising from the ashes, and... I almost feel like this person, like seeing you do it, gives somebody else that you're connecting with, whether it's this person or someone else, it gives them hope, okay, that they can do it as well, okay? 
You do have a lot of big ideas about this. Seven of Cups. Um, you really overthought it a little bit um, to the point where you almost didn't get yourself prepared to take this leap, right? Yeah, the devil. It could have weighed you down very heavily, okay? And it could have been very hard for you to break free of old patterns to rise like that phoenix. Okay, there we go, justice. The balance here is that you do see things clearly for yourself now, which is always hard for Gemini, right? Because just like um, Libra or Pisces, right? There is a little bit of back and forth energy that you work with, but you're seeing things very clearly now where you're ready to take that path. Seven of Wands. Spirit says fight for it, okay? If it seems difficult at first, fight for this because it's what's meant for you. You're breaking free of old frustrations, okay? Uh, you're finally, you might not realize it, but you're finally going to be wild at heart, right? And there on top of the celebration, we've got, okay, the Four of Wands. Maybe you're going to do this before your birthday, okay, or before somebody else's birthday, um, or you're waiting for a birthday to be done so that you can make this move forward, like you don't want to miss out on a special event. But I do feel that this 1111 is saying, right, that this is destined, this is divine. It's why you manifested it, okay, Page of Swords, right? I'm ready to actually see what I've manifested. Okay, and now we've got the full again. Okay, so what is the lesson you are learning here, Gemini? Okay, what is the lesson you are learning here? Divine love. Okay, you've connected with the divine partner you've been seeking. I am triggered and healing by the near energies for union, right? You, whether you've met this person or not, I feel like most of you have, it's very energetic, it's very electric, and you've healed a shit ton, right? We saw that, right? Two of cups, two of vessels, two people healing through the mirroring energy, okay? And it could have been very tiring at times, mirroring us here, okay? How are you feeling right now about this a little chaotic okay a little hurt and a little uh little off put by yourself okay and it could be because of leaving something behind old feelings are coming up to the surface perhaps ancestral wounds that you haven't yet completely healed if you are leaving someone behind, okay, how are they feeling? <laughs> Shame, regret, okay, uh, realizing that they didn't put in what they should have, okay, but also a little amused. They feel like, fine, go sow your seeds. You'll be back, okay, ha, huh. I'm a great catch. Okay, so if you're leaving to start your own business, some boss somewhere is like, yeah, you'll be back, right? If you're leaving a relationship, they don't believe that you're, they're, you know, they're to cover up their own shame and regret. They are like, yeah, whatever, you'll be back, okay? The new energy here, okay, they're in a soul contract right now. That's a little codependent. They've been a little irritated as of late. Okay, perhaps in separation here. But if you're wondering, do they love you? <laughs> they do. 100%. Okay. Okay. 
so tell me more here about the past. Thank you. Okay. This person is back and forth. Okay. Again, shame and amused, right? Like they probably, like you don't know what to get from what you're going to expect from them. Uh, one minute they're like, just tell me what you want. Just tell me the truth. The next minute they're like, no, don't let me go. Right? Like I'm yours. We're us. And um, they're just all over the place. Okay? Which could be why you feel chaotic. Right? Your chaos is being fueled by their chaos. What about this future energy? Okay, you are my everything. Crack open my heart, right? Again, they are in a soul contract. They may have been uh, trying to keep from loving you, but they do love you. You are their everything. Thank you, Spirit. I wanted one more. When you think about me, I feel it, right? Very energetic here. Very much something that you both feel on a higher spiritual level, whether you've met them or not. Okay, the past here. Okay, it might be too late by the time I figure things out, right? Like, I don't feel like I'm good enough for you. Like, I don't feel like I um, am enough for you. Like, I don't feel like I satisfy you. I want one more there. Thank you, Spirit. I don't know if I'm cut out for this, right? Like, they don't even know if they are cut out for being in a commitment. Okay. Future energy. Okay, you are never far from my mind. I will take the I will make things right between us one day. Okay, they know that they're going to break free from their soul contract here. Okay, but they are always manifesting this, always calling this in, always thinking about you. Okay, I got sidetracked and it comes down to timing, right? Like, I feel like they pulled themselves into this story and it took them a little while to get themselves back on track. Okay. So where are you in the journey here with this past energy? Okay. As they're trying to surrender to you, right? Um, you're rising above from it. Okay. I feel like you are like, I've been through this before. And you see that nothing's growing here, right? Destruction. You see that all we do really is hurt each other. And you know that's not healthy. They want me to look here, right? Okay. I feel like it brings out the worst in you both. And there's a lot of, you know, forgiveness that ends up having to come out. But again, a lot of inner child work has been done here. Tell me about this divine love. Where are you at in the journey with the divine love? Okay, kind of chasing, right? You're kind of chasing this emotional connection now and wanting that sun, wanting that happiness. Okay, it's going to take a minute to get there, but you do want it. You desire it. Okay. Yeah. You're releasing what was holding your heart back, taking a leap of faith, or they're releasing what's holding their heart back as you're taking a leap of faith, okay? What else here, Spirit? Yeah, again, you are heading towards sun. Sun, 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 sun. Happiness, 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 right? And it's coming in passionate and it's coming in hot. 
okay? Very happy energy here for you. Okay, but the challenge here is that you're making a major transition. Okay, you're making a major transition here. Angel number 555. So a big life shift that you're creating here for yourself. But angel number 333, your prayers are being answered. Your angels are walking behind you, right? They've been guiding all of this inner child healing that's been happening. They've been with you all the while. Okay, yeah, it's coming exactly when it is meant to. What's going to happen here, I feel like, is it's been running late because somebody... Maybe both of you were not dropping your emotions. It feels more like it's them than you, though. Like they've been delaying it. The closer you get, the more they've pulled into their darkness. Spirit wants one more for so I can't leave it on that note, right? Okay. Again, I feel like it's because there's multiple options on the table here. And this person is trying to figure out how do I, how do I get out of this? How do I get out of this? Okay. It's going to take this person a few tries. Okay. To free themselves here. Capricorn energy. But it's not for not wanting it. Again, there is a shit ton of love here and happiness here. Okay. They just feel like they're kind of trapped right now. So let's close it up with a couple of messages from the universe. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Okay, again, right? You are transitioning. Page of Swords, you're taking new steps, all right? Releasing old ideas, old paradigms, learning new things. Yeah, releasing, made a choice, judgment. Okay, again, the world, you're ending a cycle here. It's a really good energy, okay? You might be living alone at first, okay? Two of Wands, when you transition, maybe not having a lot to your name, um, right? Empty apartment is kind of what, or empty house is what it kind of feels like here, but it won't be for long, right? Because you go from that Two of Wands, you've made the decision, you've made your choice, you've walked the path. Ten of Pentacles, Solid, stable. Look at that big, happy, sunny pentacle, right? Joy, happiness. It all will turn out. And then they're like, look here, right? What became out of the impulsiveness. Okay, I feel like this all happened because somebody caught your eye, lit your fire, right? Turned into love. And that, my friends, is a beautiful story. Okay? Okay. So I hope that this helps you. I hope you have a very beautiful week. I'll be doing these readings for two weeks. I'll be putting out some other little old timeless readings, okay, to keep you entertained in the meantime. And I give you all my love, my friends, okay? Talk to you soon. Bye.